Good morning. This is lecture two, class seven, subject English, Honeycomb, chapter six, expert detective. If you all remember, children, in the previous lecture, that is lecture one, I had given you a small introduction regarding the chapter. And to recall, I will just recall that there were two brothers and sisters, Nishad and Maya, and they were after their neighbors, and they were assuming him to be a crook, to be a criminal. Okay. Let's proceed further. Review of the story. I'll be giving you the review of the story. Then we'll be doing new words. I will tell you how to pronounce those new words. What are the meaning of those new words? And of course, the explanation. Uh, we'll be going through each and every paragraph, through each and every lesson uh, line, basically, to make you things more clear. And meaning of new words. Reading of the lesson part two and homework. That's mandate three. So yeah, part two, catching a crook. So as you people remember, in part one, we had concluded when they had a holiday. It was a rainy day holiday for them as monsoon had struck the next day, and they were experiencing an unexpected holiday. So basically, they both were sitting in their room, and Maya was writing something on a sheet of paper. Let's see what she writes on that sheet of paper. Catching a crook. Okay, in bold letters, in block letters, she wrote, "Catching a crook." Let's start. I wrote in large block letters, "Catching a crook." Expert detectives Nishad and Maya Pandit, by appointment to the whole world. Then I began writing. So, in block letters, she wrote, "Catching a crook." Then she had written, "Expert detective." So now Maya was. assuming herself to be an expert detective as she had found out a lot of things about mr nath so nishad and maya pandit by appointment to the whole world then i began writing who's i here it's maya okay about half an hour later i turned towards seven who was lying on his tummy chin cupped in his palms reading comics want to hear what i have written i asked So now basically they both were sitting in the uh, sitting in the room and Maya was sitting on a table and chair and she was writing in block letters catching the crook and she had even mentioned that uh, Nishad and Maya have turned to be expert detectives but after some time when she had written she wanted uh, to read it out so she wanted to read it out loud to Nishad so she asked inquired Nishad if he's interested in listening to what she has written and uh, in the la last paragraph they have given a description about how seven was lying down on the bed do you understand by the meaning of chin cup means you're holding your chin you're lying back okay by your stomach on the bed and you're holding your hand thinking position you can understand that is chin cup you're holding your chin like a cup so about half an hour later i turned towards seven who was lying on his tummy chin cupped in his palms reading comics so he was reading comics want to hear what i have written i asked so she basically asked him if he is interested in listening what maya had written let's move further paragraph 2 he looked up question lingly I have listed all the facts we know about Mr. Nath, which might help us to trap him. I said, "Want to hear?" Seven nodded. So basically, now she had listed all the facts that they had discovered about Mr. Nath, and Seven nodded his head and he looked up questioningly. Okay, fact number one, I read. His name is Mr. Nath. So now the fact number one, Maya read that his name is Mr. Nath. we must discover his first name and she said that we don't know his first name so we have to discover his first name do you think that's his real name maya nishad asked so now nishad asked a question to maya that do you really think that uh, whatever name we are going to discover will be the real name probably not i said most crooks have an alias now to that context Maya replied that probably not. That may not be his real name, or that will not be his original name. As most crook have an alias. Alias means second name. So the criminals, the thieves, okay, the 
you know these people they already have more than one name because they tend to hide themselves from the police from the cops so they keep more than one name so that even what maya has also said here she said probably not i said most crook have an alias they have a second name i added a big question mark after nath fact number 2 i read on the tenants who are tenants the tenants are the people who live who own your property and they pay you a sum of money every month so tenants Ten tenants means kiraidar okay so the tenants at shankar house say he is mad strange and unfriendly so the tenants who live at shankar's house they say that mr nath is mad he is strange and he is unfriendly because he doesn't talk to anyone he is very re reserved kind of person so that is why they are saying that he is very he is mad he is strange and he is unfriendly number 3 he doesn't talk to anyone and is mannerless but he did talk to us maya and mama says he is very polite so now what nishad is saying that he is not mannerless maya this is what i think because he has talked to us and he has talked to us very nicely and even mama says that he is very polite nishad interrupted so nishad told this to maya that uh, i don't think so that he is me, uh, mannerless because he has been very polite to us this is what even mama said he only talked to us because he had to now maya is saying that he only talked to us politely because he had to as a mother was a doctor and he wanted to get his treatment done from his mother that is why he was talking politely to them that was their assumption that he is doing so because of he want because he wants to get his medical treatment done so he only talked to us because he had to i said and since he was under mama's medical treatment he had to be polite fact number 4 he doesn't receive any letters seven nodded number 5 he's been living in room 10 of shankar house for more than a year he is living in room number 10 of shankar house more than a year i continued so now fact number 6 he doesn't work and sits in his room all day he doesn't work and sits in his room all day he has no work he's jobless but then too he sits in his room all day number 7 the kids in shankar's house and even some of the grown ups are scared of him the kids are scared of mr na so this was fact number 7 number 8 fact number 8 he has no visitor except for a spectacled fair fat man who visits him on sundays for lunch fact number 5 9 food and tea are taken to his room by ramesh from the restaurant downstairs so now she is saying that food and tea are taken to his room by ramesh from the restaurant downstairs so these were all the facts that maya had jotted down okay on her sheet of paper which was she was reading to nishad which she was reading to seven now let's come to paragraph number 3 he doesn't care what he eats pays his bill immediately and tips well that ends my list so that's the end of the list so she's saying here he doesn't care what he eats pays his bill immediately and tips well have i forgotten anything seven so now she's inquiring to seven nisha that has she forgotten anything to write or she has mentioned all the facts which they have come to know about mr nath nisha had obviously not been paying too much attention to my list of facts nisha was lost in his old world basically he was not paying that much attention to what maya was saying to what list maya was reading out to him all he could say was poor man maya he must be so lonely if he doesn't have any friends so now basically what nishad is saying here that maya i'm feeling pity on that man poor man he must be so lonely if he doesn't have any friends now let's see what maya has to say for that how can a crook have friends idiot i almost shouted at least he has one friend the one who 
meets him on Sundays. Now she said that he has one friend, the friend who meets him on every Sunday, said Nishad. A brilliant thought occurred to me just then. That man must be Mr. Nath's accomplice in crime. Accomplice in crime means a partner in crime. Okay. So now she is saying that, okay, a brilliant thought occurred to me just then that that man must be Mr. Nath's accomplice. Accomplice means a friend in crime. Okay. A friend who supports him in his crime. I said, maybe he keeps all the loot and he comes now and then to give part of it to his partner, Mr. Nath, for expenses. Now, what is she saying here? She's saying here that maybe he keeps all the loot, whatever they do the loots and all. They Maybe they are two partners and they divide everything equally among each other and he comes to his house every Sunday to give his share. So that's what she's saying here. Maybe he keeps all the loot and he comes now and then gives part of it to his partner, Mr. Nath, for expenses. That's it. I'm sure I am right. If you insist on calling him a criminal, I don't think I want to discuss anything with you, Maya. Now, Seven is actually not agreeing to whatever Maya is saying. Because he has his own point of view and he's saying that if you are telling me that he is a person who is a criminal, then I don't want to discuss anything with you, Maya, said Nishat. Angrily. So now Seven is angry. He can't be such a bad man if he gives Ramesh such generous tips. So now basically Nishad is looking to good factors also. He's saying that he can't be a bad man, Maya, if he gives Ramesh such generous trip, tips. Ramesh probably knows something about his past. Now see what Maya has to say here. She's saying that no, he's a criminal only. You know why she, he gives a generous tips to Ramesh? Maybe he knows something about his past or maybe he knows a secret about Mr. Nath. So, Mr. Nath must be bribing him to keep quiet. Bribing him means giving him, giving him extra money. Giving him extra money to keep quiet. I said, Nishad glared at me. Glared at me means, means looked at her with eyes all bulged out. Okay, eyes all out with big, big eyes. Glared at me. Glared means gorna. Okay glared at me with his arms tightly crossed across his chest. I was beginning to get fed up with him. How can we make any progress with our investigation if you take that attitude 7? So now 7 was very angry on Maya and he was saying that if you are going to call him a criminal then there's nothing to discuss. Okay. I don't think so. He's a criminal because he's he gives such a generous tip to Ramesh. To that also she has a context that maybe uh, Mr. Ramesh knows some secret of Mr. Nath and that is why he's bribing him. So now she's saying to Seven that if you are going to have this kind of attitude, then how will we progress in our investigation? They were such secret detectives, such nice smart detectives that you know they had to progress in the investigation now let's see what happens further i asked i'll cooperate so now see what seven is saying i'll cooperate only if you give up this idea about him being an an escaped crook so now what is he saying that i will help you and we'll do the investigation together if you give away this idea that he's an escaped crook if you think that he's a normal man, then I am ready to do the investigation with you. But if you're assuming beforehand only that he is an escaped crook, then I will not cooperate with you. You really make me angry. I almost hit him. You know, this happens with brothers and sisters. So she almost hit him. I make you angry. You stupid off. I shouted. You make me mad. What is the... Paragraph 4. What is the 
point of all these inquiries is he's not a crook then maya is saying that what is the point of all these inquiries if you're saying that he's not a crook if you think he's a nobody what's the idea of bothering about him please tell me and uh, maya is saying that if you think that he's nobody he's not a criminal he's not a crook then what is the point what is the idea of bothering about him please tell me nishad looked thoughtful now nishad is saying here i'd like to find out why he is so thin and why he is lonely nishad is saying that i would love to find out that why he is so thin and why he is so lonely why he has no friends why nobody talks to him or why he doesn't talk to anyone so nishad is more curious to know that why he is so thin and why he is so lonely i want to know why he doesn't have any friends and lives alone try to understand seven i told him now maya is trying to explain things to seven if he had lived in shankar's house for a year and hasn't made a single friend there's something wrong now maya is saying that if he's been living at mr shankar's house for a year and he has not made a single friend and there's something wrong maybe he is afraid of people that if people will recognize him and then they will give mr nath to cops that's why he's not making any friends so she's saying here he is obviously scared that someone will recognize him and give him up to the cops maybe no one tried to make friends with him now nishad is saying that maybe nobody has ever tried to become friends with him nishad protested why should anyone bother now she is saying that why should even anybody bother about mr nath you have seen what a nasty bear he is now maya is calling referring mr nath as a nasty bear why because nasty the word nasty means unpleasant bad okay so she is referring mr nath as a nasty unpleasant man so she is saying that why should anyone even bother because he is such a bad tempered man and he is such an unpleasant man i said i don't care said nishad stubbornly i like him and i'm going to try and be his friend and nishad stubbornly said that okay whatever you think whatever you assume it's up to you but i am going to try and become his friend because i like him friends with a crook ha huh, you are a crazy seven so she saying that you want to become friends with a crook you are crazy seven i said the cops will take you to jail with him and she basically gave a disclaimer to him that if you are going to become friends with mr nath maybe the cops will also take you to the jail with him do you want that to happen you idiot nishad merely glared at me merely glared at me means he gave a look at her he just stared at him uh, stared at her and quietly walked out of the room and he went out of the room my theory seems to have made no impression on him at all so the theories which maya was making about mr nath made no impression on nishad made no impression on seven so with the last paragraph we end the story here the story is been written by sharda divedi and it's been taken from the book from the broken fluid which is written by sharda divedi i would like to inform you all this is just a part of the story it's not the complete story okay they have just taken a passage from that story it's been there from the broken fluids so that's only a part if you want to know the full story please go through the book read the book from the broken fluid it's been taken it's been written by sharda divedi okay so now let's move further we'll be discussing some new words and how to pronounce them as well as we'll come to know their meaning we have already discussed them while we were doing the chapter we were doing the paragraphs so now i'm going to show you particularly what are those words called and what do they actually mean new words crook a dishonest person criminal a crook is known as a dishonest person as well as a criminal <coughs> excuse me doubtful uncertain starving the word is pronounced as starving starving is dying of hunger next word interrupted interrupted means to speak in between so 
step in, uh, stop in between scars spots marks on the face which mr nath had he had some scars on the face then gaunt means very thin very slim recognized identified okay so the word recognized means identified next thrust pushed into peak means peep pleased satisfied stout fat and strong side deep breath of sadness retorted reply quickly next set of words cup shape of cup by hands while you are lying down on the bed alias second insist force bribing making someone to do something by giving money glad look angrily nasty unkind bad pleasant that's what maya referred mr nath as a nasty man now there's a homework for you all you have to read the lesson again homework you have first of all you have to read the lesson again full complete lesson part 1 and part 2 and if you have any quiet uh, any questions or if you have any doubt we'll be doing it in the class then i have a homework for you all you have to do this working with the text question answers so we'll go with the first question what does nishad find out about mr nath from ramesh what does he find out about mr nath from ramesh then you have to arrange the information as suggested below what he eats who is he here he has been referred to mr nath here so what he eats then what he drinks and when how he pays okay how he pays the money to ramesh next why does maya think mr nath is a crook why maya refers mr nath as a crook why, who does she say the sunday visitor is next question does nishad agree with maya about mr nath how does he feel about him how does nishad feel about mr nath and does nishad agree with maya about mr nath so these questions you have to do you have to read the lesson you have to go through the new words if there's any problem in the pronunciation still you have not understood any word any meaning you can ask me any time okay thank you have a nice day stay home stay safe we'll be meeting in the next video lecture thank you